All right, man, Kelvin and I are here at the grocery store. We're about to share with you five foods that people stay away from that they should actually be eating more of because they're good for you. First one, potatoes. Now, variety, color, doesn't really make a difference. Most people think they're supposed to stay away from potatoes because of the high carbohydrate content. The truth about potatoes is, is they actually have a compound referred to as resistant carbohydrate in them, which doesn't impact your blood sugar levels the same way that most carbohydrates do. So not like Kelvin said, and French fries and all that. No, it doesn't mean you can eat as many French fries as you want. And the secret to it is, if you can cook them, heat them up, cool them down and then reheat them, more of that starch is converted into resistant starch and therefore has an even lower impact on your blood sugar levels. Potatoes, eat them up. All right, another one that people stay away from that they should be eating more of, not too much of, more of being the keyword, is cheese, specifically raw cheeses. Now the reason is, for instance, in many European countries, they will provide raw cheeses as an appetizer before a meal because of their prebiotic and probiotic bacteria that is actually contained on the cheese that is a result of the actual aging process. So eat more raw cheese. Not the packaged processed commercial dairy like Kraft and all that, but the good stuff. Next one, a lot of people are gonna be a little angry at me for this one, but again, the key word here is more of, not too much. And this is sourdough bread, especially if you are a bread addict. Now the reason is because the fermentation process that sourdough undergoes, it actually alters the composition of the starches in that bread, making them more friendly to your digestive health, guys. So if you're gonna eat bread, stick with sourdough. All right, now being honest, this is my personal favorite one on the list, but again, another one that people are going to be upset with me about, I'm talking about red wine. Now, again, it's not that you need to overdo it, but if you do enjoy a drink every once in a while, instead of having a beer or even a spirit, something like a liquor on rocks or something like that, go for red wine. There is a mild antioxidant called Veritrol, which is found in the skin of the grapes that red wine is made from. It's got tremendous health benefits, guys. It's one of those secrets that most people have heard of but don't practice implementing, guys. One glass of red wine a day, one glass of red wine per day might keep the doctor away, so drink up. All right, now, this last one is probably my wife's favorite one on the list, We're talking about chocolate, specifically dark chocolate. Now, trick to getting chocolate that's actually going to be health beneficial is to make sure that you're getting something that is one dark and is a high percentage cacao so i, would, I generally would say 70 percent cacao or more is the way to go now generally speaking unless you're getting something that's been heavily sweetened which you want to avoid that's going to be slightly more bitter a little less chocolatey than you might expect chocolate to be when you're used to eating things like Snickers bars and all this milk chocolate that's what you want to stay away from but if you implement this instead you're going to get the antioxidant, the antioxidant benefit as well as you're going to become a little less sensitive to all of that sugar that's contained in those other chocolates so guys get your chocolate these five foods, I'm telling you, people might tell you you should stay away from them. I say you should implement them more regularly, just in moderation, guys. Until next time, 